How to be mindful at work by life success. Introduction. In the fast-paced environment of today's workplaces, where multitasking is often valued over deep focus, the art of mindfulness has become a beacon of hope for many seeking serenity and efficiency. Mindfulness at work is not just about surviving the day but thriving in it, transforming routine tasks into opportunities for growth and challenges into lessons in resilience. This book is your guide to integrating mindfulness into your workday, from the moment you wake up to the time you log off. It's not about adding more tasks to your to-do list, it's about enriching your work experience through presence, awareness, and intentionality. Chapter 1. Understanding Mindfulness Imagine you're sitting at your desk, surrounded by a whirlwind of emails, meetings, and deadlines. In this storm, you find a center of calm, a place where each task is approached with clarity and each decision is made with presence. This is the essence of mindfulness at work. Mindfulness is not a mere buzzword or a fleeting trend. It is a profound practice rooted in centuries-old traditions, now validated by modern science as a key to well-being. At its core, mindfulness involves being fully present and engaged in the moment, aware of your thoughts and feelings, but not overwhelmed by them. It's about observing life as it unfolds without judgment. The Roots of Mindfulness The concept of mindfulness has its origins in ancient meditative practices, particularly those stemming from Buddhist traditions. However, the practice is not bound by any specific cultural or religious context. In the 1970s, John Kabat-Zinn, a molecular biologist, played a pivotal role in bringing mindfulness into the mainstream of Western medicine and psychology. He developed the Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction MBSR program, which demonstrated the powerful impact of mindfulness on reducing stress and enhancing overall quality of life. Benefits of Mindfulness in the Workplace Incorporating mindfulness into the work environment offers a multitude of benefits. Research has shown that mindfulness can significantly reduce stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. But its benefits extend beyond mental health. Mindfulness can enhance cognitive functions such as attention, concentration, and decision-making. Employees who practice mindfulness report higher levels of job satisfaction, indicating that mindfulness not only makes us more efficient workers but happier individuals. Mindfulness and Productivity a synergistic relationship. The connection between mindfulness and productivity is supported by an increasing body of evidence. Mindfulness improves our ability to focus, reduces the tendency to multitask which, contrary to popular belief, often diminishes productivity and helps us respond to workplace stress in healthier ways. By fostering a state of flow, where individuals are fully immersed and engaged in their work, mindfulness can transform the quality and efficiency of what we do. Implementing Mindfulness – Personal Experiences Consider the story of Alex, a project manager in a busy tech firm. Overwhelmed by the constant demands of her job, Alex began practicing mindfulness through short, daily meditations and mindful walking during her lunch breaks. Over time, she noticed a significant shift in her ability to manage stress and her overall productivity. Meetings that once felt chaotic now seemed manageable, as she learned to listen more attentively and respond with greater calm and insight. Understanding mindfulness is the first step in unlocking its benefits in the workplace. As we explore its roots, the scientific support behind it, and the tangible benefits it offers, we begin to see mindfulness not as an optional add-on, but as an essential tool for professional and personal growth. By embracing mindfulness, we open the door to a more fulfilling, productive, and balanced work life. As we move forward in this book, keep the story of Alex in mind. Like her, you can transform your workday from a series of tasks to be endured into an opportunity for growth, presence, and satisfaction. Let's embark on this journey together, exploring practical strategies for integrating mindfulness into every aspect of our work lives. Chapter 2. Starting Your Day Mindfully Before the hustle and bustle of the day takes hold, there lies a precious opportunity to set a tone of mindfulness that can influence every subsequent moment. The way we start our mornings can significantly impact our mood, productivity, and ability to handle stress throughout the day. 
By adopting mindful morning practices, we actively choose to greet the day with intention and awareness, paving the way for a more centered and productive work experience. Waking up with intention. The moment of awakening holds immense potential for mindfulness. Instead of reaching for your phone to check emails or social media, give yourself a few minutes to simply be. Take deep, conscious breaths, and as you do, set an intention for your day. This could be a specific goal like approaching tasks with focus and calm or a broader aspiration such as maintaining a positive outlook. Imagine Sarah, who begins each day by setting an intention to find joy in small moments. This simple practice helps her approach challenges with a lighter heart and stay anchored in the present, even during stressful work situations. The Power of Morning Meditation Meditation is often hailed as the cornerstone of mindfulness, and for good reason. Engaging in just a few minutes of meditation each morning can significantly enhance your sense of inner peace and readiness to face the day. You don't need to be an experienced practitioner. There are many guided meditation apps and resources for beginners. Consider the story of Michael, a busy executive who started incorporating 10 minutes of meditation into his morning routine. Over time, he noticed a profound decrease in his anxiety levels and an increase in his ability to concentrate during meetings and complex tasks. Journaling for clarity and focus. Journaling in the morning offers a powerful way to process thoughts, set goals, and reflect on gratitude. This practice can sharpen your focus and solidify your intentions for the day. Write down three things you're grateful for, three things you want to accomplish, and one personal goal. This act of putting pen to paper not only clears your mind, but also directs your attention to what truly matters. Emily, a graphic designer, uses her morning journal to brainstorm creative ideas and outline her priorities for the day. This practice has not only boosted her productivity, but also enhanced her creative output. Setting the stage with a mindful breakfast. The act of eating breakfast can also be an exercise in mindfulness. Instead of hastily consuming your meal while multitasking, take the time to savor each bite. Pay attention to the flavors, textures, and aromas. A mindful breakfast sets a calm and collected tone for the day, encouraging you to maintain this level of presence in your work. John, a school teacher, found that by dedicating time to a peaceful breakfast, he was better equipped to handle the demands of teaching and more present for his students. The practices we engage in during the first hours after waking up can build a foundation for a mindful, productive day. Whether it's setting intentions, meditating, journaling, or enjoying a mindful breakfast, these rituals help us approach our work with clarity, focus, and a positive mindset. As we move forward, remember that the key to a mindful day lies in how we choose to begin it. By incorporating these practices into your morning routine, you're not just preparing for the day ahead. You're investing in a more mindful, fulfilling work life. Let these morning rituals be the first steps on your journey toward a more present and balanced existence, both in and out of the workplace. Chapter 3. Cultivating Mindfulness at Your Workspace In the realm of work, your desk is not just a physical space, it's a launch pad for your day's achievements and challenges. How you curate this space can significantly affect your ability to work mindfully. A cluttered desk can reflect and exacerbate a cluttered mind, while a calm, organized workspace can promote focus and serenity. This chapter guides you through transforming your workspace into a sanctuary of mindfulness, enhancing your productivity and well-being. The Philosophy of a Mindful Workspace a mindful workspace goes beyond mere aesthetics, it's about creating an environment that reflects and fosters your inner state of calm and focus. This involves being intentional about what you choose to surround yourself with, from the layout of your desk to the items you keep within sight and reach. Each element should serve a purpose, whether it's functional, inspirational, or simply brings you joy. Consider the story of Maya, a writer who transformed her chaotic home office into a minimalist haven. She kept only what she needed for her work, added a plant for a touch of nature, and displayed a piece of art that inspired her. This shift not only cleared her physical space, but also her mental space, making it easier for her to enter a state of flow. Organizing your space for clarity and efficiency. 
the organization of your workspace can dramatically influence your efficiency and stress levels. Begin by decluttering, removing anything that doesn't serve a specific purpose or contribute to your mindfulness. Then organize your remaining items in a way that makes sense to your workflow. Keep frequently used items within easy reach and store away less essential items. For instance, Alex, an engineer, adopted a less is more approach, keeping only his computer, a notepad, and a pen on his desk with a small succulent to add a breath of life. This minimal setup reduced distractions, allowing him to focus more intently on his tasks. Mindfulness reminders in your workspace. In the hustle of work, it's easy to lose touch with the present moment. Incorporating mindfulness reminders into your workspace can help anchor you in the now. This could be a small Zen garden, a mindfulness bell app on your computer, or a simple post-it note with a mindfulness cue like breathe or be present. Liam, a project manager, placed a small hourglass on his desk. Each time he started a new task, he would flip the hourglass, using it as a prompt to take a deep breath and center himself before diving into work. This small ritual became a powerful tool for maintaining mindfulness throughout his day, taking mindful breaks to refresh and recharge. Mindfulness extends to how we take breaks. Rather than scrolling through social media or checking emails, choose activities that truly allow you to recharge. A short walk, a meditation session, or even a few stretches can revitalize your mind and body. Sophia, a graphic designer, implemented a routine of taking a five-minute break every hour to practice deep breathing or walk around her garden. These breaks became her moments of respite, significantly boosting her energy levels and creativity. Creating a mindful workspace is an investment in your professional and personal well-being. By adopting the practices discussed in this chapter, you can transform your work environment into a place that supports your mindfulness journey. Remember, the goal is not perfection but progress toward a workspace that reflects and encourages your best, most present self. As we move forward, let the principles of mindfulness guide you in curating a space that not only enhances your productivity but also serves as a sanctuary amid the demands of work. Your workspace, when mindfully arranged, becomes more than just a place to work. It becomes a vital partner in your journey towards a more mindful, fulfilling life. Chapter 4. Mindful Communication In the labyrinth of workplace dynamics, communication is the thread that connects us, weaving through every interaction, email, and meeting. Yet, in the rush to get things done, the quality of our communication often suffers. Mindful communication is about bringing awareness, intention, and empathy to our interactions, transforming them from mere exchanges of information into opportunities for connection and growth. This chapter explores how to cultivate mindful communication in the workplace, enhancing relationships and fostering a collaborative environment. The Essence of Listening Actively Active listening is the cornerstone of mindful communication. It involves fully focusing on the speaker, understanding their message, and responding thoughtfully. This practice not only improves the quality of interactions but also builds trust and respect. Consider the example of Nora, a team leader who transformed her team's dynamics by practicing active listening. During meetings, she made a conscious effort to listen without interrupting, to understand not just the words but the emotions behind them. This approach encouraged her team members to open up more, leading to more creative solutions and a stronger sense of unity. Speaking with intention Mindful communication is as much about how we speak as how we listen. Speaking with intention means being clear, honest, and considerate, ensuring our words align with our true intentions. Before speaking, ask yourself, is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Mark, a customer service manager, adopted this practice in his interactions with both customers and colleagues. By choosing his words carefully and ensuring they were always aligned with the intention of providing support and solutions, he significantly improved customer satisfaction and team morale. The pause before reacting. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to react impulsively, leading to responses we later regret. Mindful communication teaches us to pause before reacting, creating space to choose our response consciously. 
This pause can be the difference between a heated argument and a constructive conversation. Emily, faced with a critical email from a client, felt her initial surge of defensiveness. Remembering her mindfulness training, she took a deep breath and allowed herself a moment to calm down before responding. This pause enabled her to address the client's concerns in a professional and empathetic manner, ultimately strengthening their relationship. Nonverbal Communication and Mindfulness Mindful communication extends beyond words to the realm of nonverbal cues such as body language, tone of voice, and eye contact. Being aware of these nonverbal signals, both in ourselves and others, can provide deeper insight into the true message being conveyed. David, an HR specialist, noticed that a colleague seemed withdrawn during a team meeting. By paying attention to these nonverbal cues, he was able to check in with the colleague afterward, uncovering concerns that had not been voiced. This act of mindfulness and compassion led to a meaningful dialogue and resolution. Mindful communication is a powerful tool for enhancing workplace relationships, fostering understanding, and building a culture of respect and collaboration. By practicing active listening, speaking with intention, pausing before reacting, and being mindful of nonverbal cues, we can transform our interactions and create a more positive, productive work environment. As we move forward, let us carry these principles into our daily communications, remembering that every conversation is an opportunity to practice mindfulness. In doing so, we not only improve our professional relationships, but also contribute to a more compassionate, understanding world. Chapter 5. Dealing with Stress and Challenges Mindfully In the ocean of our work lives, stress and challenges are the waves that can either toss us about or be skillfully surfed. Mindfulness offers us the surfboard to navigate these waves with grace and resilience. This chapter delves into transforming our approach to workplace stress and obstacles, not by avoiding them, but by meeting them with a mindful perspective that turns them into avenues for growth and learning. Recognizing Stress Signals The first step in dealing with stress mindfully is recognizing its signals. Stress manifests differently in everyone, from physical symptoms like headaches or fatigue to emotional signs like irritability or anxiety. By tuning into these signals early, we can address stress before it overwhelms us. Laura, a software developer, began noting her stress signals, such as tensing her shoulders and feeling short of breath. Recognizing these signs enabled her to take quick, mindful breaks, practicing deep breathing and stretching, which significantly improved her ability to manage stress and maintain focus on her work. Mindful Breathing as an Anchor Mindful breathing is a powerful tool for centering ourselves in the midst of stress. It involves focusing your attention on the breath, observing its natural rhythm without trying to change it. This simple act can calm the mind and body, providing a quick respite from the storm of stress. Tom, an account manager, faced a particularly challenging client meeting. Before responding to the client's complaints, he took a moment for mindful breathing which helped him address the client's concerns calmly and effectively, turning a potentially volatile situation into a productive dialogue. Reframing your perspective. Mindfulness teaches us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing us to reframe our perspective on stressful situations. Instead of viewing challenges as threats, we can see them as opportunities to learn and grow. This shift in perspective can drastically change our emotional response to stress. Sophie, a project coordinator, was overwhelmed with a project deadline. By mindfully stepping back and viewing the deadline as a challenge to overcome rather than a looming threat, she was able to approach her work with renewed focus and creativity, ultimately meeting the deadline with a product she was proud of. Finding Lessons in Challenges Every challenge carries a lesson. Mindfulness encourages us to look for these lessons, fostering a growth mindset that values progress over perfection. This approach not only helps us navigate current challenges, but also builds resilience for future obstacles. James, leading a team through a failed product launch, used the experience as a learning opportunity. By mindfully reflecting on what went wrong and what could be improved, he and his team were able to develop a more robust strategy for their next project, turning a setback into a stepping stone. 
Stress and challenges are inherent to the workplace, but they don't have to dictate our experience. By adopting a mindful approach recognizing stress signals, using mindful breathing as an anchor, reframing our perspective, and finding lessons in challenges, we can navigate these waters with composure and resilience. As we continue on our journey, let us remember that the waves of stress and challenge are not our enemies, but forces that, when approached with mindfulness, can propel us forward, fostering growth, learning, and a deeper sense of fulfillment in our work and lives. Chapter 6. Mindful Leadership and Teamwork In the vast ocean of workplace dynamics, leaders are the captains, and their teams are the crew, working together to navigate through calm and stormy waters alike. Mindful leadership is about more than just guiding the ship. It's about doing so with awareness, compassion, and presence. This chapter explores how mindfulness can transform leadership styles and teamwork, fostering environments where creativity, efficiency, and mutual respect flourish. The Pillars of Mindful Leadership Mindful leadership rests on several key pillars, self-awareness, empathy, focus, and resilience. A mindful leader is not only aware of their own thoughts, emotions, and biases, but also attuned to the needs and feelings of their team members. They lead with intention, staying focused on the goals and values that matter most and they exhibit resilience, navigating challenges with grace and learning from setbacks. Angela, a CEO of a startup, embodies mindful leadership. She starts her day with meditation to cultivate self-awareness and spends time each week in one-on-one -on -one meetings with team members, practicing active listening to understand their perspectives and challenges. This approach has built a culture of trust and openness in her company, driving innovation and growth. Empowering Teams Through Mindfulness A mindful leader empowers their team by creating an environment where mindfulness is valued and practiced. This includes encouraging team members to take mindful breaks, facilitating mindfulness training, and integrating mindfulness practices into meetings, such as starting with a minute of silence to center the group. David, a marketing director, introduced a practice of beginning each team meeting with a short mindfulness exercise focusing on the breath or setting an intention for the meeting. This simple practice helped to reduce distractions and fostered a more present and productive meeting environment. Mindful Communication in Leadership Communication is the lifeblood of effective leadership and teamwork. Mindful leaders prioritize clear, compassionate, and purposeful communication. They understand the power of their words and choose them carefully, with an awareness of their impact on others. Mindful communication also involves listening with full attention, demonstrating empathy and understanding. Sarah, a team leader in an IT company, implemented regular feedback sessions where team members could share their thoughts and feelings openly. By communicating mindfully, she was able to address concerns, celebrate successes, and strengthen the team's cohesion. Cultivating a Resilient Team Culture Resilience, the ability to bounce back from adversity, is critical in today's fast-paced and often unpredictable business environment. Mindful leaders cultivate resilience by fostering a culture of learning and adaptability. They encourage their teams to view failures as opportunities for growth and emphasize the importance of self-care and mental well-being. Mike, the head of a research department, faced significant project setbacks. Instead of assigning blame, he led a series of reflective sessions with his team, focusing on what could be learned from the experience. This approach not only helped the team overcome the disappointment, but also strengthened their collective resilience and innovation for future projects. Mindful leadership is not just about enhancing personal well-being or even the performance of a single team. It has the potential to create a ripple effect throughout an entire organization. By embodying mindfulness in their actions and interactions, leaders can inspire others, foster a positive and productive work environment, and drive meaningful change. As we move forward, let's embrace the principles of mindful leadership, recognizing that the journey is as important as the destination. By steering our ships with mindfulness, we can navigate the complex waters of the workplace with compassion, resilience, and a deep sense of connection to our crew. Chapter 7. Integrating Mindfulness into Your Work Routines 
In the complex quilt of our work lives, mindfulness can be the thread that binds together our tasks, decisions, and interactions, infusing them with intention and awareness. Integrating mindfulness into work routines transforms the mundane into the meaningful, turning each moment and task into an opportunity for presence and growth. This chapter explores practical ways to embed mindfulness into the fabric of our daily work activities, creating a more focused, productive, and fulfilling work experience, starting with mindful mornings. The tone for a mindful workday is set long before we check our first email. A morning routine grounded in mindfulness practices can prime us for a day of focused and compassionate work. Consider incorporating meditation, mindful movements such as yoga or a short walk, or journaling into your morning ritual. These practices help center your mind, allowing you to approach your work with clarity and purpose. For example, Julia, an architect, begins her day with 15 minutes of meditation, followed by a short journaling session where she outlines her intentions for the day. This routine not only enhances her focus, but also helps her manage stress, making her more resilient in the face of deadlines and client demands. Mindful Task Management In the whirlwind of deadlines and meetings, it's easy to become reactive, jumping from one task to the next without true engagement. Mindful task management involves prioritizing tasks based on importance and urgency, and then approaching each task with full attention. This might mean setting aside specific times for email and communication using techniques like the Pomodoro technique for focused work sessions, or simply taking a moment to breathe and center yourself before starting a new task. Daniel, a project manager, uses the Pomodoro technique, working in focused 25-minute sprints followed by a 5-minute mindful break. This not only improves his productivity, but also ensures he remains present and engaged with his work, reducing the likelihood of burnout. Mindful Meetings Meetings can be a significant source of stress and distraction, but they also offer a valuable opportunity to practice mindfulness. Encouraging a mindful meeting culture can transform these interactions into times of meaningful connection and productive collaboration. Start meetings with a minute of silence, allowing everyone to arrive mentally and let go of previous distractions. Foster an environment of active listening, where participants feel heard and valued, and encourage pauses to reflect before responding. Emma, a team leader, implemented these practices in her weekly team meetings. The result was a dramatic shift in the quality of the discussions, with more creative ideas, less conflict, and a stronger sense of team unity. Leveraging Mindfulness Tools and Apps In today's digital world, technology can be a double-edged sword offering both distractions and solutions. Mindfulness apps and tools can provide structured ways to incorporate mindfulness into your day. Whether it's a meditation app, a mindfulness bell reminder, or productivity tools that encourage focused work periods, these resources can support your mindfulness practice amidst the busyness of work life. Alex, a software developer, uses a mindfulness app for short meditation sessions during his breaks and has found it instrumental in managing stress and enhancing his concentration even during intense coding sessions. Integrating mindfulness into work routines is not a one-time setup, but a continuous practice evolving as our work and lives change. By starting with mindful mornings, managing tasks with intention, fostering mindful meetings, and leveraging technology, we can weave mindfulness throughout our workday, transforming our experience of work from something we endure to something we engage with fully and joyfully. As we close this chapter, remember that the journey to a mindful workday is personal and unique. What works for one person may not work for another, and the key is to experiment and find what practices resonate with you. By making mindfulness a cornerstone of our work routines, we not only enhance our own well-being and productivity, but also contribute to a more mindful, compassionate, and effective workplace culture. Conclusion As we draw the curtains on this journey through the landscapes of mindfulness in the workplace, it's crucial to recognize that the path we've embarked upon is not a destination, but a continuous voyage of discovery and growth. Throughout these pages, we've explored the myriad ways in which mindfulness can transform our workday from the first rays of dawn to the gentle close of our evening routines. 
We've seen how it can reshape our interactions, our spaces, and our inner landscapes, turning the act of work into a practice of presence, purpose, and profound engagement. But the true essence of mindfulness lies not in the practices themselves, but in the subtle shifts they inspire within us. It's in the moments of stillness amidst chaos, in the deep connections forged in simple conversations, and in the quiet satisfaction found in tasks performed with wholehearted attention. This book has been a map, guiding you through the techniques and strategies to cultivate mindfulness, but the journey is uniquely yours, colored by your experiences, challenges, and triumphs. As you move forward, remember that mindfulness is not a tool to be used only in moments of stress or a practice to be confined to quiet meditation. It is a way of being, a lens through which we can view our work and our lives, offering us clarity, compassion, and a deeper sense of contentment. The challenges and pressures of the workplace will continue, as will the ebb and flow of our personal lives, but with mindfulness we have a steadfast anchor, a way to navigate the storms with equanimity and grace. Let the end of this book not be an end to your exploration of mindfulness, but a beginning. A beginning of more mindful mornings of conversations filled with presence and empathy, of tasks approached with intention and joy. As you close this book, open your heart to the endless possibilities that mindfulness brings to the transformation that awaits not just in your work, but in every facet of your life. In the words of Fitch and Hathan, the present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. May you carry this wisdom into your work and beyond, finding in each moment, no matter how mundane or challenging, an opportunity for mindfulness, for growth, and for joy. The journey continues, and the best is yet to come.